Okay, so to start, I have brushed out my hair and it's been air drying for, I don't know, maybe like 20 minutes. Just while I like did my makeup and stuff. Normally, I would do my makeup after, but for the purpose of this video, we are, we're, uh, we're on makeup first situation. Anyways, normally um, I would just like do this, I would get changed, do my skincare, and then like make my bed, anything like that, and then I would uh, start to air up my hair. So I have pretty difficult to, well, my hair will hold a curl with a curling iron, but not with a, like not with a blow dryer and stuff like that. So. The goal of this style that I do, um, what I'm showing you today, isn't necessarily to create curls, it is to have something that's going to fall in the long term into like a nice looking sort of blowout situation. So we're starting hair divided in two. I'm just going to take a paddle brush, I like doing it this way, I've learned, um, and I'm taking the Day Agave Dry, dry Heat and Hold Styling Mist, Heat Protection with Frizz Control and Flexible Hold. And I'm just gonna spray this into the hair a little bit on both sides. And I use the brush just so that it doesn't like hit my, hit me too much. Okay. And then I like to brush through to make sure that everything is smooth. And if you guys notice, you're not actually lined up with my mirror because you won't fit where my mirror is, unfortunately. Here we go. Then, what I like to do is, it kind of depends. Today, today I'm gonna go away from the face. So you wanna make sure that the, I'm using the biggest barrel in the Dyson Airwrap Complete. You wanna make sure you, the biggest barrel is what I'm using because I find that that actually like, works the fastest on my hair and it like lets me get it done the quickest so this is really just like my like I need to get my hair dried situation and I'm going to take kind of large-ish chunks there's like a method no method to this madness and I'm going to just start like picking up hair and you know, see. Just 
like dropping each section and putting through some heat protectant. you pin your like curls it was <laughs> it, it does keep it out of the way but not doing that today so one thing is when I have these like sections that are more wet all the way through I like to wrap the hair first like this and I envy them. I just like, can't do it. I cannot do it. No, no, no. Okay, here we go. So I'm just going to spray kind of like this more back section. And then the bottoms. I don't want to spray like this front because I feel like the more product I have around my face, the more my hair like gets greasy faster and also like after brushing it through, it kind of distributes the product a little bit better. So I'm just not, not putting as much concentration in that area, I'm hoping. Okay, now for the bangs, all I'm doing is going to like push the other hair off of my face, I'm gonna divide this in half, say so, and then all I'm doing is the curlers on the side, just picking up pieces, and I'm gonna repeat the same thing and just making sure that my pieces are a little like every which way, so that it's not like creating a harsh, a harsh line of, like with the curls, you know. That makes sense. Oh my gosh. 
with my paddle brush and I know this makes the curls like fall faster but I'm not really going for like a super curly vibe And that is it. Okay, so here is the end result of the air wrap. Um, it's going to fall throughout the day, but this is pretty much where we kind of start. Like just very big, kind of wavy curls. I, I don't know if we're gonna, like there's definitely some curl look, but the pieces overall are a little bit more like, like very loose but they definitely look like sit like a wave more than a, a curl, I think. So yeah, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.